so we'll say something. Now but did you, did you rack yours yet? Uh, you should rack yours, yeah. This is Paul and Mark with Freedom Gorilla, and today we're just going to talk about these two guns that we have. I bought the kel FPC, or I'm sorry, the kel Sub 2000. And I got the Smith & Wesson FPC. Alright, and just so you know, both of these guns are unloaded, uh, nothing in the chamber, no magazines even in them. They both fold, and they both have their positives and negatives. Why don't you talk about yours, Mark? For the FPC, what's really cool about it, it is taking the MP 2.0 magazines. What I like about this one, as compared to the kel it folds sideways. Um, this also comes with an awesome uh, carrying case that comes with it. It also has three mags that come with it. Two of them are stored in the back here, which is folds over extremely easy. And the attachments that I added are the new Holosun SCRS. The SCRS is really cool. It's very similar to all the SCS pistol models that Holosun has to offer. It is, stands for the Solar Charging Rifle Sight. Um, the only difference between this one and the other ones is the other ones are for pistols only, whereas this is for rifle. It is using the 509T footprint. So it is uh, using that footprint right here and, and mounts to any Picatinny rail uh, down here. But it's the solar charging site, so you never have to worry about batteries ever. It's using the Holosun 32 and 2 MOA uh, multi-reticle system. So you're able to toggle between the 2 MOA dot and 32 MOA range. Both. What's nice about that FPC is definitely the way you mount optics. It's, a, it's much easier than the kel uh, also, you know, because of that folding mechanism. Mark, wh how much was that gun? Uh, I think total it came to like 720. Okay, this is the kel 2000. There's currently a rebate on this, so I think I paid $399, and there's a $100 mail-in rebate, so $299 once I get that check back. What I liked about the kel besides the price is that it does take Glock mags. kel built pretty nicely. I like the material. Uh, the only difficult part with this kel is the optic setup. So many people run like a angled optic on the side or they even make a flip mount here but all that's pretty expensive so I messed around a lot and basically we have this 507k or 407k RMR absolute co-witness mount uh, that we sell as well and put it on here put the 407k on here and it actually works perfect it even locks up there's no overhang and uh, the best part is you can just, you know, aim down the, the sights and you don't have to angle your gun. So, and you can still co-witness your irons. So, uh, you know, both of these guns are lightweight. They both fold up about the same length, which I think is around 16 inches. So they're both very concealable. And um, what we'll do is we're gonna, I'm gonna shoot this, Mark will shoot that. I'll shoot his, he'll shoot mine. And then we'll come up with some conclusions and what we like or don't like about either one. One thing I did want to note about the FP, FPC is I did try to do the SCRS and magnifier combo. Didn't quite work. The magnifier will not work for this specific setup. It will work with the SCRS, but it just won't work on this specific gun. Yeah, and same goes with this kel The problem is that these rails are way forward, so... You know, the magnifier has that eye box, you need that eye relief, you just can't get your head uh, close enough. Alright, so I'm going to take some shots with the kel with this optic setup, it's all sighted in. One thing about this, um, pulling this back is a little bit difficult, uh, but you, you get to do the HK slap, which is nice, and um, yeah, I'm just going to shoot it a little bit and see what it's like. So trigger right now uh, isn't that bad. When you're on a rest pulling it, it seems a little spongy, but when you're actually shooting at a target, it's pretty nice. All right, so I'm out. No, I'm not. OK, 
Okay, so I'm out. Empty. So one thing about this kel it does not have last uh, round bolt hold open. So when you're out, you're just gonna pull the trigger, but nothing's gonna come out because you're gonna have an empty chamber. Overall, with this optic setup, it runs pretty well, and I'm more than accurate enough with that pistol sight right there. As I said, this gun is uh, totally empty, chamber's empty, uh, bolts locked back, but this optic uh, works really nice. So this is a 407K, which is budget friendly. It's the cheapest pistol optic you can get from Holosun. And I think to have a sleek package uh, with this kel I think it's, it's perfect. It's six M away, which is accurate enough. This is at 25 yards. We're not shooting too far, but I mean, I was on target each time. This ran like really well. So we're going to keep taking more shots and uh, yeah, we'll keep you posted. What's up Freedom Gorillas? I have the Smith & Wesson FPC here, again with the Holosun SCRS. Isn't out yet, so very excited to test this out here. Paul's a better shot than I am, and I feel very comfortable with that. That's awesome. I'm very excited for what I just saw. This thing is really cool. I have the 403R, and uh, this is uh, better in my opinion. So the grouping here really isn't that bad. I know, like Paul said, 25 yards, not too far out, but still super fun to play with. Uh, first time shooting the FPC uh, and with this combo of the SCRS, and I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with it. I really like the idea that's never gonna run out of battery. That's something I have had an issue with, uh, with one or two optics, I had to change the battery out. Uh, but once you change the battery out, it normally just works. But in like a shit hit the fan scenario. Not having to worry about battery is a huge benefit for me. And the fact that this folds up, I mean, that's really concealable. So, big fan of this. All right, so I'm out. Has the last uh, round bolt hole open, which is nice. Let's go check a look at the target and see what I think. Hit the target pretty good. I will say that the way this is set up with this uh, vertical foregrip uh, and the regular rifle red dot, it does feel a lot more like an AR. I would say maybe that the recoil impulse is even a little less than the kel -Tec. Um I do like the last round bolt hold open, although this slide release is pretty tough. I can't even do it with my hand. Um, the safety here is in a nice spot. This mag release is a little tricky to get used to. Um, but as far as this SCSRS, I do really like it. As you can see, it's way more compact. So a normal red dot that you're going to put on uh, your AR or carbine, it's going to be longer, weigh a little bit more, and it'll have a battery. Um, this with its compact size I think is real nice. It gives you that extra rail space. Uh, Mark has that titanium magnifier. When you pair that with this, it's like a killer combo. So the reticle is super nice. I've used this reticle in other red dots. Um, but yeah, I really do like it. Very sleek. No buttons raised or anything like that to catch on. Easy buttons here to push and it has the auto brightness settings if you want and manual so overall really liking this uh, FPC it is more expensive and yeah I I would you know if I didn't mind spending the money I, I wouldn't mind this at all it's definitely a little bit more refined than the kel sub 2000 that's fucking cool <laughs> So, first thoughts, that HK slap, fucking awesome. Oh, All right, let me redo that. Absolutely love that Paul came up with this 407K for this. Super cool. I was really concerned that this wouldn't have any optics that would be able to fit on it, because you'd have to take it off um, because of the way that it flips up. And finding something that makes it flip up and still lock, 
that's ingenious. Very cool to see that. The, uh, the rail is like the perfect height for it. It shoots fine. Um, absolutely love that it has the Glock mags as well. Um, it does have a bit more of a kick, in my opinion, than the FPC. Overall, I think this is a very budget. I mean, I definitely think the FPC is more refined, um, but you are paying more for it. So at the end of the day, it's like, what do you want? Do you want a nice shooting rifle that uh, you can conceal, or do you want like some kind of budget rifle that you can conceal that's a little bit less refined, but you know saves you money and still works good? Uh, either either is good depending on your situation. But let's talk concealability. So as you can see, both of these are on the table. The Smith & Wesson is going to be wider than the kel um, Another thing is that the Smith & Wesson actually comes with a bag, which is pretty nice. It comes with all these compartments. It comes with the ability to strap it in. And, you know, when this is put together, it's, you know, kind of discreet. You don't really know what it is. You can hold it this way, um, or you can hold it this way, like that, or put it on your back, like that. I like a little bit more uh, camouflage, so this is literally my office backpack, and you know, I could just slide it in there and hold it like that, and it's no problem. So let's put the Keltec in there, or I'm sorry, the FPC and see what that is like in the bag. I'm basically saying I like my stuff in a book bag. So that does fit in. There's a little bit more bulk, uh, but you could get away with it. But yeah, I think both are nice. When, uh, when folded out, they're both about the same. Both have plastic hand guards, just so you know as well. Both have threaded barrels, which is nice. I think they're both 128. Uh, one half by 28 thread. Uh, this definitely has the superior optics uh, capability over the Keltec just because of how it folds. And uh, yeah, I'd say Keltec is kind of like the minimum gun to get the job done. This FPC is more of a refined, feels like an AR, and you could kind of accessorize it with how you're used to and has the mag. Older. So I mean, if you were to do, if you were to make this Keltec uh, have similar features to this FPC, you're definitely going to be in the price point of this FPC. So I could see how uh, this is a good option in the market. I do like Glock mags. Uh, the Keltec comes with two versions. You could get uh, Glock 17 magazine uh, length or Glock uh, 19 length. I got the 19, so that way I could put Glock 19 mags or 17 mags. Uh, the Keltec does also come in other options. I think you could get it with Smith mags. You could get this in a 40 caliber also. So there's a couple different options floating around. Uh, but yeah, as far as the optics, I think pistol optic on the Keltec Sub 2000 is the way to go. I really think this is the best possible combination right here. Pretty much one of these small micro dot sights, a 407K, a 507K. If you really wanted, you could put an EPS carry but it's gonna allow you to fold the gun over, still be very concealable. You do need this mount, which we do have on our site, so I do recommend this a lot. Having the site this far forward is absolutely fine. It's easy to hit targets with. As far as this FPC, when this SCSRS gets released, this would be a great option. Lightweight, compact, fits this gun perfectly. Uh, however, there are other options that you could get like the 403 series or the 503 um, or if you wanted you could put one of these on there you could get a picatinny mounted pistol optic and throw it on here 509t maybe something like that but um, yeah I think both are great guns and I, I think you can't go wrong with either so uh, would love to hear what you guys think and if you have any questions let us know the trigger is definitely better on it so it's uh crisp break, clean reset, good amount of travel. You you basically know where it's gonna be. Like I said, the Keltec trigger is a little spongy. Charging this gun is actually, it looks weird, but it's very similar to the AR. And charging this uh, 
is just about as difficult as an AR or as easy as an AR uh, versus the kel -Tec, when you have to grab that metal piece it kind of hurts your finger it's a bit difficult um, but this is a much easier uh, to rack gun for sure so and it feels good like I said with this rifle optic it feels like an AR it's pretty weird but the grip is really nice too very grippy uh, stippling on there really kind of like digs in here it's like sandpaper uh, but somehow doesn't hurt your hand so I I definitely like the ergonomics of this I think they did a, a really good job if this was metal it'd be cool but it really doesn't seem like it needs to be just one more thing about this FPC so this is a question for anybody in the comments or Smith and Wesson themselves how are you supposed to use this slide release I cannot for the life of me release that slide if I put my thumb here I'm gonna lose a finger so how are you supposed to do that that slide release is terrible all right freedom gorillas well thank you for watching and if you have any questions let us know all these optics are on our website at the best price with free shipping and yeah looking forward to hearing your comments and answering as many questions as we can so have a good one